All right, I'm back. I want to do a video uh, adding support for SDR Play uh, as well as my uh, B205 in SDR Angel. I found that the dev package uh, doesn't really support either. So since I'm going to do this, I figure why not just uh, kind of go through it together here in case anyone else wants to uh, do this on something other than Dragon OS. Although I will point out the SDR Angel page has the compile from source. I'm only going to use a portion of it because most of everything we need is already built in Dragon OS. Um, so this should be this should be pretty quick. Uh, but if you change to the OPT directory, and I'm going to modify it a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to make these two directories, uh, which I already have the build directory, and let's go ahead and make the install directory. Not going to worry about the next step here. Uh, it tells you, you know, you might need all this. I can already pretty certain that uh, uh, DragonOS already has everything, so you'll probably get back uh, everything is there. All we're going to do is the non-hardware dependencies. So let's go to our build directory. Essentially we'll copy and paste adding sudo in front. Change to the directory just like it says. Add sudo. We will use sudo to make a directory or a build directory, change directory build. Use the CMake here, which is going to um, put this in uh, OPT install. It's going to do a uh, unique prefix here. So we can actually leave the currently installed. Um, SDR Angel from dev package and we will call this from somewhere else. I'm hoping to have this in the next uh, release already. I've tested it. Um, seems to work fine. Just figured we'd go through this together. So change back to the build directory. Let's add the next one. You kind of get the idea here. It's the same thing down the board here. We'll run sudo beforehand. All right. We've got about three more things to do here. Same thing, do the C make. Now that J8, it might not work for you. I have uh, eight core in there. So even if you just did a, a make install or like it shows here, it should pull in how many um, would work for you. Don't forget to make the build directory. All right, last one. Again, everything should already be there. Yep. 
make sure you're changing back to the main build directory each time. All right, so if you stuck with me this long, we're just about done. So while that's building, I'm going to skip the hardware dependencies because this I've already pretty much all of this is already install, installed in Dragon OS, uh, except for maybe the AirSpy HF. I have, have to make note of that. It's Persis XDRX. Um, Let's see, we don't need any of that. SOPI SDR is already there, SOPI remote. Basically, we're gonna skip down to build an SDR angel. So, let's see. We'll get the latest. And we're gonna Okay. Now, we're not going to use all of this. Um, so, let's see here. What I'm going to do is we'll do the first part. Matter of fact, speed this up. We'll leave this as is. And then we don't need any of these directories down till about here, starting here. So uh, let's see. All right, let's see if we got this right. Do this. Let's see. And we should see that it finds the. Okay, so found SOAP SDR, found, okay, yeah, everything looks good, so, this is going to take a while, so I'll edit it and be back in a few. All right, it's finished, uh, it's installed, and now... Uh, and of course, when I add this to Dragon OS, I will make uh, a shortcut to it. But if we look in the install SDR Angel bin, we should see uh, how we could run this here. So uh, let's see. What I'm going to do is I've got an RSP1 plugged in. We'll bring up SDR. Okay. So we're fresh now. We see we've got our RSP1 alpha. We load it. Uh, I noticed all these are enabled by default. And I'm not sure why it's going way down here, but let's let's take it up uh, into the there we go. So uh, you'll want to mess with your gain settings here. Find it, you know, taking this down and then tweaking this here. We'll get that working. We can add. So now the cool thing is, is you could use the SDR play equipment for DATV demodulator, DSD. Um, I mean, it should be everything that's here as uh, an option now should work. So let's just take uh, an easy one here, FM demodulator. A 
why I'm going so small on the screen here. So let's see. You've got like a phosphorus effect here. You could do the same over here. Uh, we've got let's get this a little better here. The other thing too is you can come over here and you've got RDS but you need to make sure you put it in stereo mode because if you just turn this on nothing ever happens down here but if you left click here you'll see that uh, it starts building a demodulator here and then eventually you'll get the information here that will populate. All right, well, it works. I got a lot to learn and mess with these settings here. Uh, I know for a fact it also works with the uh, Edis radio. Let's see, might as well plug it in here. All right, there we go. I don't know what this will do. Alright. There we go. So I'll include this um, in the next build. But I figured I'd document it uh, along the way. In case anyone else wanted to uh, install it beforehand. Uh, but at least it... Uh, um, I wanted to add SDR play support because I have that equipment and I also wanted my uh, Edis radio to work. So that's how I got it to work, build it, have it look for uh, the soapy and seems to work great.